but look guys um, I was also asked to explain look, let me tell you something this is a bristle brush there's about three brushes that I have here there's a bristle synthetic and a sable which is really smooth this is a bristle the thing is when I I'm gonna use this this bristle right here and and I'm just gonna kind of add the color like I'm gonna add the hat right here really quickly this is gonna be a green hat I think it's gonna be a green a greenish blue hat so this just adds really quickly but it leaves those marks those scratch marks so uh, one of the things you guys have to learn to do is is this allows it to kind of add really quickly and you use a little thinner and you add it like so boom here's the hat right there and it looks like he's wearing a, some kind of freaking beret so I'm gonna drop this down I'm gonna pull some of the color that's down here Pull some of the color right here. There, I'm pulling some of the color up. Okay, now I'm going to grab a little bit of this uh, of this green, and and there's there's my green sombrero. So this is really this is a bristle brush, and it, this is for adding color really quickly. Okay, it's not necessarily this is really wet, really transparent. Uh, it's okay. It's just to kind of get the idea, you can change it. I'll give you an example here pretty soon. But, but now, one of the things that I want you guys to do is that change your brushes. You got to master. Mastering the brushes is key. Uh, most everybody that I know will, will sit there, take a, one brush, and do a whole painting. You, you've got to learn, you've got to, learn uh, to, control, to control your brush, change your brushes when you need them. Like right now, I'm just kind of moving this. It's kind of wet back here, as you can see. And uh, I get my hat's right there. Uh, here's a sombrero. I'm gonna come down like this. It's gonna make a buckle. All right, there's so. So I'm talking to myself, but it's okay. So the the thing is that this paint is really thin, and that's okay. So what what happens then? I'll change it, and I'm gonna sh show you. This is a this is a synthetic. This is like a medium brush. And this medium brush really it softens those lines. So now that has to be thicker. When I say thicker, it, it means that it has to, it, the paint is, is thicker. And here's, here's our green. And you see how it covers really well? Well, that right there is because I changed the brushes. And, and this is something you guys have to play with. Now I have a booger there. I'm going to grab, see if I can get off. Uh, so here I'm going to kind of travel back and forth and create a gradient. What it means is that as I travel down, it's picking up the rest of that color and blending it. But it's getting weaker and then it becomes really, uh, uh, it's become so weak. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to soften these edges here, soften the scratch marks because it just bothers me. But here, this this we will hit later. So um, when you start grabbing color, um, uh, here's here's some more color here. When you start grabbing color, uh, the brushes kind of tell the story. This is not necessarily uh, a, a difficult thing. I'm not even paying attention to what I'm saying, but I'm just rambling. But look, this this right here, this right here kind of gives you this this smooth. You can smooth it. The thicker that it gets, the smoother it'll be. And I'm looking at the hat. This is the center of my hat right here. It goes at a cockeyed angle. This is the band. Let's see. There's a band here. Okay. There's the hat right there. And there's that head right there. All right, this comes up. And I'm so there's your sombrero. So now I'm going to change brushes. This is a bristle brush, and the way that I'm using it, this is a bristle brush. The way that I can use it is I load it really heavy, and I put a brush stroke. Uh, let's say I take this right here, and I'm going to put it right there. So it's a very, I'm li literally picking up the color here and I'm going to go and drop it. The, the beauty about this brush, it scumbles, it, it rolls the paint. 
But then I'm going to show you this other stuff here. This is like a sable brush. Uh, so here I'm going to grab this, this brush right here. And I'm going to go ahead and, and this brush stroke, look at this brush stroke right here. Just covers the whole thing. And, and it really smooth, smooths the whole, the whole texture of the painting. So what I'm doing right now is, is trying to feather, pull the color down to do what I want it to do. Um, so now I'm going to pull this right here like so. This is a very uh, smooth brush. Um, and the beauty of this brush is that it can really just soften the whole thing. If you know how to control it, you can do some really incredible techniques with this brush. Now I, I'm controlling it really light and I'm allowing it to skip over over the rest of the stuff. And I got a booger right there. Sometimes the boogers can actually work for your benefit, but most of the time they're just a nuisance. Um, Watch your feet you're close to the tripod Okay. Uh, so here I'm, I'm pulling this color. As I'm moving, it's, it should soften the brush. I'm picking color up, okay guys? And then I'm, I'm controlling what it's going to do. If I stay with one area, I can blend. It picks up the rest of the stuff, so. So as I work with, with this color, uh, I'm, I'm able to to sit there and and keep drawing, looking at my drawing and keep uh, creating this uh, uh, this the story and just watching what it's doing. So I'm gonna take this and I'm feathering this here. This is is kind of comes up here. Like I'm now I'm crossing the softening these edges. This is a very smooth brush to paint with. Okay, so look. So I have this smooth brush here. And I'm going to wash this off. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take this right there. I'm going to grab this color. And I'm going to put this really strong color right here. And it, it's going to look like a divot. There it is right there. Okay. And I'm going to pull this up a little bit more up here. You see that right there. So now I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to paint here and I'm going to pull some of this color. I'm going to load this color and I'm going to soften those edges. This is, this is uh, where you pull the, the, this edge right here is pulling that color and just, just kind of feathering it or giving it a, a subtle gradient. And it smooths it, levels it out. So I'm controlling that right there. So here I have this. All right. So I'm going to come in here and drop a little bit of this, this color. The reason that I'm doing this right here is for a couple of things. I'm literally picking up color, but I'm also leaving some color. So here I'm going to come back and create this brush stroke travel and it's this this cut right there so now the brush is getting loaded with black black always dominates but I'm actually gonna pick up a little bit more black here so so forget about so here Pick a little bit more red, actually. So this is black and red. Now this is warm black. You you've got to you learn that whites can be all kinds of colors. So here's that right there. Now I've actually played a 
so I'm just dropping this color here and, if, and, and what I'm gonna do is just kind of come back in a little bit and I'm gonna feather it where it needs to be feathered this needs to be more red so Now this is pulling the color. So here I am. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash, uh, I'm going to sit there and, and, and uh, after a couple more strokes here, let me see if I can figure this out here. So I'm going to wash this, uh, wipe this brush off, okay? And I'm going to grab more of a specific color to give me a subtle edge. Right here, this is red and red, dark red. So now I'm going to pull this, and every time I come this way, it fades away. It, it dirties up the color, but it gives me nice strokes. So it gives it that, that contour. So now I'm going to warm this up a little bit. There's a little highlight right there. And I'm going to go ahead and... and uh, now I'm going to work this over to give it some texture. This is orange right there. Now this is awful looking, but it's okay. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is pick up this color. There's other colors here, so I just don't wanna kinda go backwards, so I'm gonna feather this. So here's the thing, this, this is... Uh... So you see this right here? You see that, how it fades away? So here I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna pull this color in and then I'm going to pull this color back this way and then I'm going to pull this right here and it feathers it out so there's a red there's a red stroke right here and I'm, as you see it, it's starting to really start to to get closer to what it's supposed to look like So, but this brush right here is very it's a, it's a wonderful brush actually and uh, and it just has an incredible control. I'm gonna put more of an orange. I want really more of an orange there. Here, yeah, actually, more reddish orange. There. So I'm just putting color here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it there too. But now I'm gonna wipe it off, and I'm gonna feather this out. And it's just feather. I'm gonna be done with the forehead here in a few minutes, but. What I'm going to do is come back in here, grab a little bit of this white, tinge your yellow, a little bit more yellow here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get more yellow, yellow. So here's this right here. forehead all right so what I'm gonna do is wash wipe the brush off and I'm gonna start feathering this color right here now what I'm doing is is I'm it's a it's a chiseled brush so what I'm doing is part of the top of the white I'm using to feather the light and it'll make a gradient towards the background so here's that right there. So now I'm going to rotate this. So 
So that that's your all right. So here, so I'm gonna wipe the brush off again, make sure there's no paint on it. And these brush strokes that I put here, I'm gonna careful that I don't lose the white, but that I control what I want it to do. There's a couple of neat tricks. The control of the brush is everything. I'll put a little bit of red there. Same thing, put some color back. There's that. I got red. Here's this. How do you guys like that apple? So I'm loading this up right here. Loading this up here. And I'm looking at the highlights now. So, this here is a tinge of white there, but I'm going to go orange here. So now I'm painting. So you can see some of the highlights now. You have to kind of work back and forth and uh, you pull some of that color back up, pull it down, um, and always know what your brush has. See my brush right now has black and red. But I'm just, I'm just putting a nice little stroke right there. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of this orangey color right there. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and put some oxide into that right there. So do you see this color right here? All of a sudden you'll find out that if you guys don't understand color, the more that you you mix, you'll your brain will auto automatically say, well, put a little bit of this, or I see a tinge of green. Um, in most cases, we talk ourselves out of things that we see. Uh, when you really sit there and you say, what do you see? Well, and I, if, if I was to tell you that I see green here, and to take a little bit of this green and to put it you know, here, you guys will go, we sit there and say, you know, you're smoking a little bit too much of the wacky tobacco or something. But it's actually there. Um, you guys need to kind of, uh, you know, trust yourselves. Really trust the colors that you see. So this is starting to pop. subtle brush strokes. Part of the beauty of this is just to look and to see what you need to do. This is a shadow right there. So now I'm feathering the, this back and forth and gives it a gradient. I'm gonna, okay, so now I'm gonna wash the brush and I'm gonna push the color back. The beauty about this is sometimes you can actually push color back. Uh, Just push it back, give it a better contour. This, I'm gonna sit there and grab this red. So, 
part of the 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 ability for you to paint as you can see this is starting to look pretty good i can put it back i'm gonna feather this i'm gonna put a dark color right here on top of this and and the reason i'm gonna put a dark color is so i can f make it fit like it's the the hats on so Here's the, some more dark color here. So here's the blue also pushes back, guys. So you gotta put sometimes you gotta hit it with some blue. So here's the hat right there. Now you can see how I loaded this, right? So here I'm gonna I'm gonna use a I got black out of this so I'm gonna kind of use it here and get rid of this all right so now I'm gonna wipe this down now this time I'm gonna clean it black it will dirty too much of this but watch how I'm gonna do this so I'm gonna load this up with a little bit of red to give myself a nice low gradient so here's a red right there okay so here's the first I'm gonna brush stroke this right there So here I'm gonna, this is, you see how it passed this right here? I'm gonna push the color back into that and, and create a saddle there. It feels like there's a shadow there on it, so that works. Uh, now let's go ahead and start doing the jaw. So it's a light orange. I have this orange here and it has a tinge of green. So let's just, we already put some green actually, so. some orange here all right so I'm just gonna put some orange here just where I see it part of the beauty about just putting color here uh, later on you it, it helps you kind of create this there's a I think there's a tooth missing here let's say yeah so I'm just getting rid of that dark color remember this is gonna have a mustache so should I put the mustache? Nah, let's, let's we'll, we'll, we'll figure out the mustache in a few minutes. There's a tinge of blue uh, in the background, which I'm gonna put right here. So it's making it into a green, but I think I need more of a purple. I'm gonna go here with the purple. All right. So here I'm gonna create the, the I had put a dark stroke right here, and so I'm blending it into the black and creating a gradient. A gradient is a transition from one color to another. All right, so every time I say gradient, please understand that. Um, I'm just trying to trying to get it to transition. There's two holes there. Those are your sinuses. I'm not sure if you guys knew that, but. So here I'm, I'm carving out the teeth. The question is, I think it's higher. more orange so so now so anyways I'm having problems painting with this brush so I'm gonna go to the bristle brush uh, and I have it in my hand here the bristle brush lays lays it really pretty quickly uh, and in scumbles the color
that's more orange, eh? So here's more orange. Sometimes one brush, just what you're trying to achieve literally paints better. You, you've got to learn to to adjust and to work in that direction. Allow your brushes to do the work for you. If you're struggling, it's, there's got to be a reason why you're struggling. Uh, don't keep, you know, don't keep trying to force it. Just by me changing this brush has allowed me just to even look look at the detail really quickly that I just put. Now, uh, the the thing is, this doesn't allow me to do. do uh, um, details. So now I'm going to change brushes, going back to that, that sable. Huh? All right, guys. Well, guys, thank you for being here. This is how you do a skeleton. Uh, next week we'll we'll complete it and um, and I do appreciate for you guys to subscribe give us uh, give us a shout out let us know if you're if you're learning anything and uh, keep us posted with anything that we can help you with appreciate you guys thank you for being here um, see you next week guys thank you for coming back um, we're just gonna finish the skeleton. Uh, kind of put some color in the rest of the stuff and then just finish it out later. Uh, one of the things that you guys have to just in, enjoy is, uh, you know, stand back from your work and, and look at it. It's, it's, not, it's not always perfect, but the more that you keep uh, uh, working at, at seeing, you know, the, the colors, the uh, s looking at some of the problems that you're running into, uh, Standing back is the key, uh, and that's something that is a must. Allow yourself to kind of stand back and look at it, and just to make sure that you're you're comfortable with with what you're doing. Um, be patient with yourselves. Working through this is sometimes it doesn't happen that quickly. Uh, when you first get started in, in art, it, it seems like you're you're pretty much stumbling all day, and and that's okay. Uh, but more than anything, be patient. Don't destroy your work. Come back and think about what you're doing and uh, solve some of your problems. One of the things that I'm kind of working on right now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of work on the mustache and, and I'm going to put the darks. And this is kind of off my head, so please, please forgive me. I don't have a reference. So here I'm, I'm just going to put, you know, the bottom is, is dark. Okay. And... And uh, so that the bottom is dark. Um, so here's this boom, 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 boom. So in, in here, I'm, I'm going to put l little dark channels. And what I mean by channels is just kind of sometimes in the mustache, you, you sit there and you, you, you sit there and see the dark, dark hairs. So here's that. The, the thing is that. There's the mustache, pretty much, you can see it. So, when we put highlights on the hairs, uh, uh, it just, it's just, it's a different contrast. So the question is, let's do like a mid-tone of light. So I'm gonna sit here and I'm, I'm thinking, okay, well, what, what color would it be? Well, let's see, it'll be a brown. Okay, it'll be a brown. And it'd be a light right there. So this is like a mid-tone. A little bit of red. All right. So here's here's this. So here, what happens is that I'm gonna car. I'm gonna make a brush stroke, and it's gonna carve it. So and and I'm gonna pretend that light's hitting it. And this is part of the light. Load up the brush. And and what I'm doing right now is I'm literally pushing my brush flat. So I'm literally, I, I don't, I'm not gonna sit there and go like this. 
I literally want it flat. I want it to tell the straight edge. And so what I'm gonna sit here and is, is I'm gonna slash this. Every time you do a slash, it gets lighter. I'm gonna come back again, do another slash here. Just remember, it does get lighter. So you're gonna grab this right again. So here's a mustache right there, right? So now I'm gonna go even lighter. I'm gonna warm up the light. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it about three stages. This is a, a, more of a subtle stroke and it's not necessarily the highlight. So, and it's over that other, the stroke that you did before. Now this, you're gonna to have to load up two strokes Load up again, two strokes, load up again, two strokes, so two strokes. Okay, actually I'm gonna stroke now. So there's a mustache. <laughs> that works. It'll do it. I'm gonna put the bottom teeth. I'm going to put the bottom teeth here. And this is a little dry. So here's, I'm grabbing some color here. Pushing this up here. Grab a little bit of color here. So this is, uh, this is one tooth. a little bit more orange here so here's this right here like so so I'm gonna change brushes I'm not really happy with that brush here where the hell is my brush right here I wanted to I want this to 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 basically I want it to basically twirl is lighter so I need to connect this this right there to this all right there's a subtle red to this right here the, the yellow was too much Grab this right here, like so. And I grab a little bit more of this orange. I, I, I don't know why I feel this needs to be orange. The teeth. Grab a little bit more. So this is starting to kind of come together. I'm gonna to grab a little bit of this purple and I'm just gonna be have an artistic license down here just uh, to create a little bit of drama. All right, that's looking marvelous. Marvelous, my child. Okay, create, drop that right there. Now I'm really just having some fun here. Just creating this nice backdrop. So there. So, so um. Another question is that does that look good? Yeah, it looks good. So now I'm gonna clean it up. I'm gonna put some highlight right here. I'm gonna get some yellow, literally some yellow. But I need to make sure that I get all the paint off my brush. So here's a little bit of yellow. I'm gonna drop it here with a little bit of white. So 
here. Oh, that's nice right there. Very nice. But I want more of a white. So what I'm thinking is is uh, a couple of things, actually. Uh, highlight for the teeth, the bottom teeth. Uh, and then just little specks. All right. Highlight for the bottom. I'm going to drop a light shadow right here. Make it look like there's a hole there. See how I screwed that up right there? Right here. You see how I fixed it? No screw up, eh? I'm going to grab a little bit of this color. Now I'm loading up the brush here and I'm just kind of dropping these lines. There's these gouges where the, where the teeth go, but it's okay. Gives it a little bit more character. I'm going to grab this right here, warm this up right here, and I'm going to drop a little bit of, of this in the distance. No. See how it goes back? But it doesn't go back like I want it to, but it's okay. So here, I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna give it a shade lighter. Now I'm I'm literally right now not really looking at the piece of artwork, but I'm looking at what I have here. On top of a brush stroke that you do, sometimes makes it a little bit richer. I'm going to grab this, this light right there. Let's just grab a little bit more. Grab a little bit more. Alright. So, here, I'm going to use the corner of this brush. And I'm going to just give myself a little bit of highlight. So there, I'm going to put a little highlight right there. All right, that's too strong, but that's okay. So pretty much this is uh, starting to work. I'm kind of happy with it. I'm going to take this and lighten this up a little bit. I have a little highlight right here. There's another one right there. This is more of a pink area. And this is you're just, you're all of a sudden it just makes a lot of sense what you're doing, and you just just start just brush stroking away, and and I'm I'm looking at the highlights and picking colors here like so. So does anything bother me? Is a question that you have to ask. Well, I put these here. I'm gonna wipe this off right here. I put these here, these struck, brush strokes right there. So I, I just want this a little lighter. So what I'm going to do is just sit there and feather this right there. Uh, oh, that's good. This kind of sits here. Gum. 
All right, so now what I'm gonna do is uh, I wanna push colors back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all this right here and I'm gonna Get all the black right there. All right. Now you think this. The thing is that right now I, I just trialed it on, and I have enough black to kind of cover this whole thing. So, so I'm gonna take a synthetic brush and I'm just gonna start, you know, wet, feathering it in. I don't want it wet, but I want it just enough that it's. Uh, that it covers really nice. This is a synthetic brush and I want to just kind of play with this. There, you see? There. What I'm going to do is just not worry about the shirt yet. That we can cover. If this dries later, well, I can come back and paint over that whole thing. So, and I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to do, but but I know that I, I uh, I'm not sure I want to do a bow tie or just something kind of weird. So I'm taking this and I ran out of black, but I can grab it over here. Okay, you see this? You see this? This this line right here, this blue little line, that kind of works. So I'm going to leave that, but I'm going to carve it. You see that? That's a beautiful line. And that's actually the background of the paper, or the canvas. Excuse me. Now I can wet this and it gives me more color, but I'm not really interested in wetting it. And then, uh, Now, what I'll do is, is I'll, I'm, right now I'm just trying to cover. Next stage, I'll, I'll sit there and figure out the, the fix the hat. Uh, um, here, I'm gonna wet this right here and I just thin the black down into it. Now I'm going to get this uh, bristle. I'm going to put a little bit of brown here. See how this is nice and soft. So I'm gonna change. Go back to this other brush. There, this right here. So here I got this. All right. So now I'm gonna take this this uh, this color.
sit down and paint this away. So I'm putting the black into the green that I just put in. The same thing over here to this side. So that's pretty much it with the skull. Um, next week, I'll, I'll hopefully I'll, I'll take take it home to my to my studio at the house, and I'll finish it out there. Or maybe I'll we'll just continue working on this. But pretty much this is uh, the same way. Um, I got nine minutes. So so anyways. So let's let's uh, figure out what we're gonna do, okay? Um, um, one of the things about like what I'm doing here um, now, I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing. Oh, huh? Yeah, <laughs> okay. Right, right now? Yeah, ten subscribers. Um, one of the things that I'm gonna do right now is. Uh, um, God, I don't know. Let's, let's let's do a bow tie. We'll do like a Mexican bow tie. So, so here's this color. This is this color. So, so now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of drawing, you know, see, seeing if I'm gonna like it. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here and I'm, I'm gonna kind of see what I can do. So. First of all, I'm going to make a, maybe I should go right there. How about that? So, So the question is, yeah, let me try this. I've got a couple of ideas. Let me, let me see this, if this works. So what I'm doing is wetting the brush and coming back here and cleaning out the This is just kind of like trying to see if the idea is going to work. So I'm drawing by removing the color just enough to see it and see if I like it. All right. So here's this.
So here's this. So let's go ahead and see how this works. experience so this goes right here like so pass it again I'm trying to figure out if this nope that didn't work this, nope, it didn't work. This, that worked better. This, that worked better. This, that worked better. This, this, that worked better. So here's the thing. What I'm doing is just kind of seeing if I like it before I paint it. That works. Huh? It's too busy. What do you mean it's too busy? Yeah, but you, the color is too busy, but... Mexico's too busy. <laughs> I actually, you know what? This goes like this, this goes like this, this goes like this, this goes like this. So you're gonna go a different color? Yeah, I'm just I'm just I'm just I'm just letting the white okay. paint through. I see. But you see I have to paint this solid. Right. Um but I wanna see if you know So this this will go. So this is pretty much that's starting to look pretty good. You can see great potential in this. See this is just you see how I'm grabbing the brush and just twisting it. So this is just an idea, see if it's going to look good before I get to commit to it. And I think I like it. That's good. So here I'm going to... This is actually... This is so you see what I'm doing? I'm traveling the brush right here. That's so. Do I put the, well anyways guys, so next week we'll finish it out, 
and I'll, I'll see if I like it. But uh, so please subscribe. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta get somebody else to say that because I'm tired of saying that. Uh, but uh, you know, if you guys enjoy it, please. We're only doing this to really to, you know. Anyways, you have a great day. Blessings on you guys. Talk to you soon.